Indians are in over 200 countries of the world. I can say with certainty that they have taken India there with them, said our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Hi all, I'm Vismay Mohan Kumar of Abu Indian School studying in 9th grade. I'm going to see a speech on NRI, Building Blocks in India's Growth. Starting with who are NRIs? As for the Income Tax Act of 1961, an Indian citizen who decides to move to a foreign country for employment can be called a non-resident Indian (NRI) if they are not physically present in the country for more than one to two days in a financial year. Today, Indians make up 6.4 percentage of the world's total expat population. Many people say that NRIs went to other countries for their own comforts, but the truth is that most of the NRIs are going to other countries because of their personal situations like family problems, debts, lack of job opportunities in the country, etc. The NRI contributions to Indian economy has been remarkable. In 2018, the World Bank estimated India's remittances to be the highest in the world, standing at 79 billion US dollars. NRIs have had an important role to play in India's development every year thousands of indians migrate to other countries in search of better opportunities for themselves and their loved ones back home and our money transfers to india are mostly spent for better education investments savings and more if we take kerala as an example before 25 years it wasn't a developed state now it's one of the wealthiest states in india it's not because of our agriculture or industries but because of nri's remittances Often NRIs are seen supporting charities and have been helpful in providing financial assistance in times of natural disasters like the recent floods. Although India does not rely solely on remittances, the NRI's contribution to Indian economy still constitutes a major part in the overall country's economic development. I would like to conclude my speech by saying that NRI's contributions should be recognized and they should get the respect they deserve. I thank Lulu Exchange in Nostalgia Abu Dhabi for giving me this wonderful opportunity to present my thoughts on this topic.